Hey guys and goddesses, today we're making something electric and absolutely delicious. We are making tomato basil soup. You guys have got to try this. All you need is, I have 18 plum tomatoes, use less plum tomatoes if you're making for a smaller batch of people. I'm also gonna use two bell peppers. I use red bell peppers and also a green bell peppers. So we're gonna roast our veggies. Because roasting our veggies really enhances the flavor of our tomato basil soup. So after I've inputted my bell peppers, the next step you are going to do is you're going to put an X on each plum tomatoes. And the reason why you're doing it this is so that the inside can also get roasted as well. So you just put a nice little X on it like so. Another reason why you're going to put a lovely X on your plum tomatoes is so that when you input the seasoning on the tomatoes, the inside can also get the seasoning as well. And if you're not a fan of having the skin on your tomatoes, this step helps you easily take off the skin as well. I'm not going to take off the skin because I love the skin and I know it has extra nutrients and I don't mind the chunkiness that it creates, but it's all up to you. So after you've put your X's in your plum tomatoes, you're going to sprinkle about a teaspoon of sea salt on your tomatoes. You're then going to put a few dashes of cayenne. You're going to sprinkle about a teaspoon of oregano. Next, you are going to input about a teaspoon of agave on your tomatoes. Last but certainly not least, you're gonna put avocado oil or grapeseed oil, whatever oil you choose, and you're gonna put, sprinkle about a teaspoon of that oil as well because it helps in the roasting process. If you're not a fan of oil, you can omit it all together. And then you're just gonna mix everything together so everything can get fully coated. So while your tomatoes are roasting, you are going to thinly chop your onions, then you are going to thinly chop 10 basil leaves. I have some lovely fresh smelling basil here that I'm going to use. Oh my God. Basil is one of my favorite herbs. The aroma is just mesmerizing. You can use the stems if you like, but I'm just gonna use the leaves. This step is completely optional, but I like to cut up a nice small slice of zucchini to add to my tomato basil soup because it adds a whole lot of flavor to it and adds that creaminess without have adding, actually adding milk to it. So the 10 minutes is up and now it's time for us to make our soup. So I am going to input just a teaspoon of avocado oil. Then I'm going to input all of my chopped veggies. So my basil, my red onions, and my zucchini. Now it's time for us to add our lovely tomatoes. You can choose to blend these tomatoes or you can use your stick blender. And I choose to use my stick blender today because it just makes this process a lot easier. If you're gonna use a blender, make sure it's completely cool before you blend your tomatoes. Fourth, a teaspoon of dry thyme. I'm also gonna add a small size of fresh dill. And dill really enhances the flavor of our soup. I'm also going to input a fourth teaspoon of smoked sea salt. Some cayenne for some extra kick. Of oregano, one cup of porcini mushroom broth. You can just use spring water, that's fine. And now you're gonna use your stick blender or your immersion blender and you're gonna blend all of this goodness together. almost finished I like to add another set of fresh basil to it because I really love the, the smell and just the taste of basil 
You can also add a teaspoon of fresh ginger. Last but certainly not least, I am going to input my secret ingredient, which is my sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm inputting five sun-dried tomatoes. It's made very chunky, so you can put this in the beginning to blend it completely. But I like to have a little bit of tomato chunks in this, so I'm going to blend it together. So after your soup has completely cooled, it's time to plate it. So grab a big spoonful of your lovely soup and pour all of that goodness inside your plate. This smells so amazing, guys. Oh my my. And it's nice and chunky. On the side to make the coconut cream, you are going to make like a nice lovely swirl around your soup. Wait until it's completely cold before you add your coconut cream to it. So after you've added your coconut cream, you are going to input, if you like, you can input two basil leaf, just to make it look pretty. One thing I've noticed, uh, one thing I've learned about cooking electric food is appearance really counts. So, if you're making this meal for a child or some adult, make it edible. Plating is key. And voila, there we have it. Electric tomato basil soup. Thank you guys so much for stopping by at Nella's Kitchen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.